Janice Sullivan from Sullivan J Photography and today we're going to talk about Adobe Camera Raw presets. But before we get started I always like to show you my website. If you go to SullivanJPhotography.com this is where you can check out my blog, check out my store, the freebies and learn photography. I have my portfolio here and also a stock site where I license images, the information on my prints, and if you want to know a little bit about our team, you click on the About, and if you want to get a hold of us, click on the Contact tab. So let's get started in Adobe Camera Raw. So again, today we're going to talk about presets. The image in front of you is a sunset that I shot in Big Bear, California, and it was a blood red gorgeous sunset. But say I have steps that I use continually. So this is my HDR and I went, went ahead because I like it saturated but then later on I also want to desaturate but I do the steps continually. Why do the same steps every single time when you can make a preset? That's what a preset is. A preset will save all of your steps in Adobe Camera Raw. So let's show you that. If you go over here to the preset tab, click on that. These are all presets that I have downloaded. If you want free presets, I will show you a website at the end of this video so you can download these. If you want your Lightroom presets to work with Adobe Camera Raw, then you need to, I'll show you another website, convert them to XMP files because only Adobe Camera Raw will use XMP. So your Lightroom presets will not work with Adobe Camera Raw unless you convert them and Adobe Camera Raw will not go into Lightroom. So if you, just to show you quickly, if you have loaded or if you want to load your presets, say you purchased from someone else, you can go to this load setting area right here and if you have presets, which you could see it's not highlighted because or it's not ready to load because these are all loaded but if you have some that are not in Adobe Camera Raw and that you just purchased or whatever you can go to this section and or find your XMP files if it's not in this file you'll know where they're at um, maybe it's your download file go to the downloads and then load your presets from there if you don't like a certain preset, it's really easy. All of you say, if I have this landscape green and I just think, oh, I don't really like it, I, I don't even know why I made that preset. All you have to do is click on the trash, which is down here. Once you click on that, it's gone, and your preset's no longer in Adobe Camera Raw. Say if we want to go ahead and make our own pre preset in Adobe Camera Raw. It's super easy. I'm going to start with a, a preset that I've received for free, so we'll go to the Glow 5. I want to desaturate the image a little bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and add, for me, this is just something that I would do all the time, so I would add a little contrast, add, I got my clarity already popped up, and say if I want to go ahead and add some vibrance. So if you click up here at the top, there's the preview or you can tap the P if you want. P is that's the previous and then that's the this is what I'm showing. Now then I can make say I like this because it's still desaturated but it still has a little bit of color. I'll go back to the preset area and then down here, super easy, you can use this over here and um, save a setting, but I always feel it's just super easy just to click over here at the bottom, this little icon, and here is your preset pane. So I'll just name that for video purpose, oops, let's say D sat video, but you name it so you remember those are the steps that you do all the time so you can go to it quickly and it saves you steps that why would you want to do continually and then of course you can check these off or on depending on what you want as your presets and it'll load everything say if you don't want a sharpening because I wouldn't actually use the sharpening here I would get rid of that because everything's different 
Same with your color and noise. So these are little things that you think about um, depending on what you're going to use this preset. And it's as easy as clicking OK. And as you can see from the bottom down here, here is my new preset. So say if you want to go, let's click here, go to image setting just to get to the very beginning. This is what we started with. And I want to desaturate my HDRs. Here I go. It's already done. Of course, I would do more details, but for video purposes, I would just click click OK and we're good to go. Now let's get over to the various websites so I can show you how to grab some presets free and how to load your Lightroom into Adobe Camera Raw. Okay, so in front of you is a free website on one software where you can download the presets for Adobe Camera Raw. And as you can see from the image, you can take this image and easily change it up to a sepia tone just using their software. So go to this website. I will go ahead and give you the information on my YouTube channel, which I'll show you in a little bit. Now for those of you that are Lightroom users and want to take your presets from Lightroom and transfer them to Adobe Camera Raw, you can use this area right here and it is there is a purchase for this it's like 24 25 dollars I can't remember but anyways you use this area and you can transfer your presets into Adobe Camera Raw from Lightroom and then if you have questions on any Adobe Camera Raw or uh, want some video tutorials go to the bottom of my website and you can click on this YouTube channel and within that I have everything outlined for you the ACR tutorials are in the Photoshop location. So I have Nick in Adobe Lightroom. And then down here is the, wait, did I already pass it up? Well, here's Photoshop. So all the Adobe Camera Raws are in this Photoshop area. So if you want to learn the beginnings of how to make a smart object and all that fun stuff, definitely check out my uh, YouTube channel. OK, so if you have any questions, you can always go to that contact tab and drop me an email, and I'll get to, back to you ASAP. Have a great day, and enjoy those presets. Cheers. Mm -hmm.